We all know that there are many benefits of participating in physical activity and in this video we're going to focus on the physical benefits. The main benefits we're going to cover are the effects on the cardiovascular system, body composition, muscular strength, muscular endurance and flexibility. Exercise or any kind of physical activity improves the cardiovascular system. I want you to remember that one of the main organs in this system is the heart and it's also worth remembering that the heart is made up of muscles which are called cardiac muscles. Like all muscles in the body, if we exercise them they become stronger and increase in size. This in turn will then decrease the rest in heart rate. This is because the heart is now bigger and stronger and can supply the same amount of blood with fewer beats. This means that the heart does not have to work as hard and is less stressed. The average person will have a rest and heart rate of around about 70 beats per minute. But for an Olympic athlete such as Mo Farah, his resting heart rate would be as low as 40 beats per minute. A heart this strong is sometimes known as bradycardia or athlete's heart. The next benefit to this system is a faster recovery rate. This means that your rest and heart rate recovers back to normal at a faster speed. Okay, so we've covered the heart, but now let's start looking at the blood. Another benefit of participating in exercise on the cardiovascular system is that we have an increase in the number of red blood cells. Remember, these are the guys that carry all of the oxygen around the body to our working muscles. So participating in exercise particularly aerobic exercises such as swimming, cycling or running will help to increase the red blood cell count that we have in our body. This overall will help us to improve our athletic performance. Another benefit is that we will also increase the amount of capillaries that we have in our bodies. Remember capillaries are the smallest of the blood vessels so if we can increase the amount of these we can get the oxygen to where it needs to be more quicker and more efficiently. All of these different benefits are going to also help to aid in dropping our resting blood pressure and reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases such as coronary heart disease, stroke and heart attack. So that's the cardiovascular system covered. Let's move on and look at the next benefit. The next benefit we're going to talk about is body composition. For some people, physical activity can help with weight control. As I'm sure you already know, Playing sport or doing exercise burns body fat and increases lean muscle mass. This in itself will help to reduce the risk of developing diseases linked to high levels of body fat, such as heart disease, high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. Ok, so we've already spoken about how the heart muscles become bigger and stronger. We're now going to look at the actual muscles of the musculoskeletal system. So of course, if we exercise, if we go to the gym and lift weights, our muscles naturally become bigger and stronger, which means that they're able to burn more calories when we are at rest. Our ligaments and our tendons will also become stronger, which therefore reduces the risk of injury. Our muscles will also develop in their muscular endurance ability, meaning that we can exercise them for longer and we won't feel as fatigued as quick. And finally for now, flexibility. Increasing the flexibility of our muscles, ligaments and tendons makes our daily activities easier and helps us to prevent or at least limit the severity of injuries that we get from playing different sports. Improving our flexibility through sport or physical activity can also help us to increase the blood supply that we get to our muscles which will also help us to recover more quickly from physical activity. Other health benefits include the ability to fight off illnesses more effectively now I'm not talking about illnesses such as the common cold or flu, but more serious illnesses such as heart attack, stroke and conditions such as type 2 diabetes. So I'm sure you'll agree with me, the benefits of physically participating in sport or exercise are massive and we're just talking currently about the physical benefits. My next videos I'm going to be looking at the social benefits and the emotional benefits. Hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe, tune in and thanks for watching.